everyone, it's Cupcake here. Today we're trying out Amazon slimes. And I don't know how they're gonna be. They looked so pretty in the pictures. I was tempted to buy every single one that Amazon recommended me. And I am an avid Amazon shopper. So anything that Amazon recommends, I got to buy. So uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and dive right in and see if these slimes are worth it. We've got a total of 15 slimes to look at today. And I think I think there's a range of fluffy, cloud, and maybe some butter slime. So let's first dive into this rainbow slime. I will insert the picture of how it looked on Amazon over here and how it looks in person. It's definitely not as pretty in person, but let's see, maybe it'll make up for that once we get the slime out. This says, easy slime, ichi -chi -chi. Okay. Fun. So I have ordered slimes from those cute slime shops and they pack their stuff so, so nicely. Like Kawaii Slime Shop, I have like all my supplies and almost all of my charms and add-ins from Kawaii Slime Shop. And they package their stuff so cute and they add like cute little extra gifts for your order. But slimes on Amazon, they range from like $8.99 to $9. They're the same price basically as the slimes on these slime shops, but they don't come in with all the extra foo-foo-ness and the quality of the slime might not be as good as theirs but let's try it out okay so here is the rainbow slime and oh it's soft it looks like from the jar that you would be dealing with crusty dry slime and that's why I was worried but let's go ahead it says it's cloud slime and it's scented and it also came with this little charm so let's go ahead and give this a whiff Ooh, it is scented. It smells like vanilla, like a yummy vanilla cupcake. That's the only thing I can think of when smelling that. Oh, and it's so soft. Okay, so for texture, I'm already giving it a 10 out of 10. Just the colors are a wee bit off. So here it is. It came out so nice. And the texture, I honestly compare it to when you're smooshing cake for cake pops. That's what it feels like. It's super moist. It is cloud slime because we've got the little strings, the spider web strings pulling out. Of course, once we've got the colors all mixed together, we're probably going to end up with a gray. Let's add our little charm in here. Lovely. So a 10 on the smell. Uh, the texture is not dry, so that's always good. But maybe if we play around with it a little more, yeah, our colors will be mixed in a lot more. And with rainbow, you kind of want to make the colors last a little longer. But I think I can get it some stretch as soon as we work with the slime. Yep, it's starting to become a whole lot stretchier. Mm-hmm. And there you go. We've got the spider webs and the fluffy cloud look, but we're also getting grayer looking slime. Okay, yeah, it's getting so much better as we play with it. And you know what? The more I mix it, the more I'm getting like a cherry scent from it. Ooh, kind of smells like the gummy bear scent that I have. Okay, more than gray, we ended up getting brown slime. That's so cool, look at that. Oh, looks like it's a sandstorm. All right, next up, let's see which one we should try. I think we should go for unicorn slime. Now this slime came together with this and this slime. And this is from Kimanman Cloud Slime, Unicorn Slime. It seems like a lot of slimes on Amazon are from that brand. And we've got birthday cake, unicorn ice cream, and unicorn ice cream. The price for all three of these is $15.99. So let's check this one first. We've got unicorn ice cream number one. Oh, that's cute. So we've got sprinkles and a unicorn charm. Let's check these other ones. Aww, some more sprinkles and this is a cute little unicorn. How about this one? Okay, it's the same unicorn charm from the first one, but with a pink mane. And I'm loving the neon sprinkles. So 10 out of 10 on the decorations. And let's go ahead and give it a smell. Oh, it smells the same as the first slime. And here it is, it's the same fluffy cloud slime. I love the color gradient. Nice and soft and smooshy. 
it looks like you're mushing a, a whole bunch of ice creams together. So 10 out of 10 on the texture also. It's nice and soft. Let's mix these colors and see what we get out of these three. So it kind of turns into a, a light pink slime. Very pretty. And the little charm can go up on top. Aw, such a pretty light pink unicorn color. Now, let's try the next unicorn ice cream with the cute little chubby unicorn. Very nice and soft. Oh look, this is getting so pretty. It's turning into a pastel lavender color. So let me know in the comment section what slime channels are your favorite and which ones do you watch? I think slime is something fun that all ages actually enjoy. I know there's lots of teens and adults that love slime, and there's lots of kids that love slime too. And finally, here is the birthday cake. I wonder if this one smells different. No, oh, it smells the same. So we've got pink, white, and blue in this one. Super soft and moisturized. These are so much fun to play with. Look, it looks like a slushy. You know those swirls ice creams? They're like ice cream slushes? This totally reminds me of that. Look how pretty and vibrant those colors are. Wow. Huh, this is also turning into a very pretty purple slime. It could also be like a periwinkle color. Very, very pretty. And our little unicorn charm can go right up top. Okay guys, so those unicorn slimes get an A plus in my book, 10 out of 10. That's right, we're grading all of these. You give them a score, I give them a score, and we'll see how they pan out. Let's try Strawberry by Kiman Mun. Looks like this one's a nice mixture of white and, what is that? Oh no, is that a giant hair in my slime? Oh, I hope not. We've got little strawberry bits too. This reminds me of that strawberry milk that you can get in boba shops. Oh, this looks so good, but I don't know what that is. We shall find out. Oh, is this fluffy slime? I think this is fluffy slime. Oh, and it's borderline getting old because it's drying out. Mm, mm, mm. We've got our little strawberry bits in there. Little strawberry add-ins, very cute. Oh, it is plastic. So the plastic that was meant to keep it from going crusty up top sunk all the way to the bottom. Ooh. Well then, texture-wise, this slime gets 10 out of 10. I can feel it already. You can tell how good this feels just by looking at it. It's so nice and soft, except for the top part that was kind of crusty. It really made up for the bottom part. It's not sticky. It's nice and moisturized. It feels like they put some type of maybe lotion to make the slime. And I'm loving it. The fluffiness is on point. I would say even, this is actually more of like a butter slime. It's just perfect. And these two colors, even when you mix it together, you're just gonna get the prettiest pink. So let's give it a smell. Hmm. The smell is kind of throwing me off. I would say it's like a lemon scent. And it's not supposed to be. I don't know. It doesn't match the strawberry in there. Oh, is there a little charm in here? Yeah, there's a little strawberry charm. Sweet. We get a little charm in there. We always love our charms in our slimes. Okay, I'm trying to get the slime off, but I'm actually going to get stuck into the slime. You can make the prettiest swirls with it. Okay, don't judge my swirl. Ooh -wee. That is some pretty slime. Let's get our charm in there. Oh, so pretty. Now this slime was $9.66, and it does say it's a butter fluffy slime. And that it's supposed to be strawberry scented, it obviously says that right here, but it's not. So if you're like really, really into the strawberry scent and that's what you buy it for, that's not what you're gonna get. Who shall be our next chosen slime? Let's go for pineapple cloud fluffy scented. So this slime says that it's, oh. oh, and you can see the little charm at the bottom, nice. So this slime says it has an upgraded scent and that it's a butter fluffy slime. And this is sold by Dorothy World. And this is what the slime is supposed to look like. They have some very tempting pictures, a very, very satisfying slimy pictures on, but let's see. Is it gonna be that good? Well, right off the bat, we've got some pretty flat looking slime. Ooh, I do feel fluffiness and butteriness. 
Ooh, feels so nice and soft. Texture-wise, perfect slimes for every single one. So not bad for Amazon slimes. Here is our little charm. I like that they add charms on pretty much every single one. And here it is. Oh, that is just so satisfying. And now we're gonna give it a smell. Ooh, they said upgraded scent, but that, mm, I don't know what that is. That's not pineapple though. But the texture, look how creamy this is. It's just perfect. Let's do the pull. Oh, that is just beautiful. Mm-hmm. That is just beautiful. Look at the pull. It just goes on for days. So 10 out of 10 for consistency, 10 out of 10 for the color, for the scent, I don't know what to give it. Like maybe a three. Let's get it back in the jar. Next slime up, let's try this minty goodness. Cloud slime, happy time with boys and girls. And it's got a derpy little cupcake on it. So this is from Happy Time Slime Mint Green. Let's insert the picture. It says it's super soft and non-sticky fluffy slime for boys and girls. And it's also got a charm in here. Good slime. Okay, this was $9.99. Let's get into this. There's our charm and all of our add-ins. We've got sprinkles, even Mickey sprinkles. Look at that. So it is cloud slime. You can tell when it's like this, when it looks like cake batter. It's cloud slime. Our charm is a little mint leaf. Okay, does this smell like mint? I'm almost half expecting that this should be a mint smell because it keeps on saying mint on the jar. No, it's that same smell from the first one and the unicorn one. It's that gummy bear scent. But I'm not complaining, it's better than that weird pineapple cloud fluffy scent. That slime is awesome, but mm, the scent was not. But this color is amazing. The little sprinkles in it contrast with it so perfectly. So this is nice, soft, and so squishy. Not hard or old or crusty. Let's try fried churro cheesecake. Mmm. This was one of the more fun flavors that I picked. It's butter slime, perfect for this type of thing. And this is from Kimanman. Mun. Let's check it out. Oh, it's a little bit crusty up on top. Maybe the jars aren't as airtight as they're supposed to be. Let me get rid of the crusty bits because that will mess up the slime. This one was $9.66 and it's got an almost five star review out of 282 purchases. It's supposed to have that like coconut add-in up on top, but I didn't get anything like that. Look how pretty it looks. Anywho. Oh, okay, here's the plastic. I was gonna say, no, there's more crusty bits. This should smell really good, but I'm not sure because fried churro cheesecake is kind of a hard smell to get. It's pretty specific. Let's give it a whiff. Of course, it smells like lemon. It does not smell anything like fried churro cheesecake. Very lemony. You would think if you weren't able to see it and someone were to give you a blindfold, you would say lemon slime. I ain't gonna even lie. This is some nice slime and it feels nice too. Very, very soft and very moist. Once the colors are all mixed together, you get this pretty peanut buttery slime color. So judging by that fried churro cheesecake, I don't think I should expect too much from the Kiman Man chocolate slime, but we'll try it. No crustage. Okay. And we've got a little baggie with, I guess, some add-ins. Oh, we've got some mocha chip or some like grounded coffee. Oh, so cute. And a little Starbucks bottle. So here is the picture for this. It's the latte flavor and let's take out the slime. Such a rich chocolatey color. Okay, let's give it a smell. I hope there's at least a bit of chocolate in there. Mm, uh-uh, it's lemon. Come on, Kimon Mon. 
but that is beautiful slime. Beautiful, because texture-wise and color-wise, they are so spot on and so much fun to play with. So you can kind of sideswipe the smell problem. And it's not a smelly smell, it's just like a lemony smell. It doesn't smell like how you would think it's supposed to smell and how it says it smells. Let's go ahead and add the add-ins. Oh, that is so enticing. It looks too good. Almost good enough to eat, but of course the slime, you don't want to eat slime. And here is the little charm. Dust it off. Very cute. But aside from that, these slimes are super good. I'm not sad at all that I spent that much money on it. All the slimes together probably cost me like $150. Next slime up, let's do this one. Cause it's about to fall over anyway. This is candy fluffy slime scented. And if it's from Kimon Mon, we can expect it to be that lemon scent. It does have a little bit of crustiness on the edges. And this came with this add-in. Very cute, good size lollipop charm. Some java chips and some foam balls and sprinkles. So here is a picture of that on Amazon. You tell me that's not tempting. Of course I had to buy so many of these. They make them look so good in the pictures. Ooh, nice buttery texture of course, like with all the slimes. I'm gonna be honest, I was almost scared to purchase all of these and I should have probably just purchased one to test out and see if they were actually legit and okay. But I just got carried away, purchased a whole bunch and I do have to say I'm not disappointed in the least. They are good slimes. Okay, I smell lemony scent right away. Let me smell it from up close. Oh, this is a different smell because this is from another company. I don't know. It smells like maybe glue or rubber wood, but very good consistency because it's holding up really good. It's not watery. Let's add the add-ins. Let's add some java chips. Very cute color scheme they have going on. Now there's a lot of add-ins in here, so you don't have to throw it all in at once. You definitely can save some of it. And we've got even like this cloud puff and our giant charm. Very cute. Now let's mix this all in. <laughs> this should be the fun part, but I hate seeing all those add-ins go away. They're gonna be in there somewhere. Oh, nice snap, crackle, and pop. You'll just get a lot more texture when you're playing with the slime, but you can't really see it as well anymore once you've mixed it in. But that's the same with any slime that you mix in the add-ins. Sweet. Next up, we're gonna do the lemon fluffy slime, scented and stretchy, and this is from Good Slime again. Whoa, look at that jiggle up on top. <laughs> Nice, okay, it's soft and not crusty. So buttery, ooh. I think that lemon scent that we've been smelling in all the Kimon Mon slimes would be perfect for this. And it'd be funny if this smells like vanilla or something. So this is supposed to have a charm in it too. Oh, it's not in it, it's in this little baggie. So this little baggie with all the foam balls has a charm on the inside. So let's give it a smell first before we do our add-ins. Mm-hmm, it's that gummy bear, kind of citrusy, lemony scent. So that is perfect for this. Oh, so cute. Oh no, we've got a cluster of foam balls stuck together. Oh, and there's our charm. It's so cute and glittery, and it's a very good size. Yeah, let's mix in our little foam balls. Add some texture to our slime. So, 10 out of 10. Let's move on to Cherry Fluffy Slime from Kimon Mun. Oh, this little bit was stuck to the lid. That looks so, so good. It's such a nice, supple red color. And we're supposed to have a little charm in here too. Oh, yep, we do. It's hiding somewhere in there. It's a little cherry charm. The texture, guys, this is the best texture. 
And the scent is that same gummy bear lemony scent. I can smell it all the way over here. There's no cherry or no difference in any of the smells. But just for consistency and the texture and the softness of these slimes, I would say if you have the money to get it, just do it. This slime is awesome. And it gets to you a lot faster than slime company slimes because they usually ship from different parts of the world and they take a little bit longer. Next one up is Watermelon Fluffy Slime from Kimon Mon. Ooh. I like the little bit that's stuck to the lid. Especially if it's not crusty. I think it's fun when you detach it and you watch it stretch. But yeah, we've got a nice fluffy soft slime just like all the other ones. And in this one, we have our sprinkles already added to it. Oh, and a charm. We've got a little watermelon charm, sweet. Here's the little watermelon charm. It's a little watermelon popsicle. That's cute. And the smell is the same lemony scent. Mm -hmm. In you go, little charm. Next up is Peachy Fluff Slime. And it says it's scented that way. This is from a different company. It's from Lucky Unicorn Fluffy Slime. Nice, soft, and buttery, just like the other ones. Every company is different, but so far, all these slime companies have been doing really good. And some of them are thicker than others, so they're much more buttery than other slime companies. And here is our little charm. We've got a peach charm. This one is definitely one of the thicker fluffy slimes, so it'll stay firm for a lot longer than the chocolatey slime I did. It was kind of melting already once I had swirled it. This is perfect. And let's give it a smell. What? This company used the lemony scent too. Hmm. But this is a different company. Yeah, this is from Lucky Unicorn. And it's a butter slime DIY clay for adults and kids. You can poke it. You can spread it. And aside from the smell, it's perfection. All right, so these were all of the Amazon slimes we've unboxed. That was so much fun. I got more than I expected with these slimes and I'm pretty impressed with the quality. Just aside from the smells, all of them get 10 out of 10 for the slime, but the smell they can work on and get some different smells in there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, I will see you later. Bye for now.